Recovery is a campaign to stop the deployment of traumatized troops. Organizers from Iraq Veterans Against the War have been coming together um, to decide what issues our uh, service members are facing right now and um, what's having the most effect on their lives. And we've realized that a lot of people are deploying with trauma, post-traumatic stress disorder, military sexual trauma, and traumatic brain injury, and that these soldiers aren't getting the care that they uh, need and that they deserve. I'm Maggie Martin. I'm an organizer with Iraq Veterans Against the War. Uh, I served in the military from 2001 through 2006. Through several organizing meetings across the country, we've come together to uh, talk about this issue and break into teams and work on research, um, collecting stories from service members who have been affected by trauma. Going AWOL is, you know, it's not something I wanted to do. And I, it's sad that I had to resort to that. But I did what I thought was right. My name is Specialist Jeff Hanks. Jeff returned to Fort Campbell to make a public stand against the Army's poor treatment of traumatized troops. I've been to Iraq in 2008 and then I deployed to Afghanistan this year and I came on leave and um, I've been dealing with some issues, a lot of issues from Iraq. Uh, I kept it to myself, you know, I tried to deal with it the best way I could. It really uh, had an effect on my, uh, my daughters. I have uh, two little girls, uh, five and three. And um, some of the stuff I saw in Iraq um, really brought it home to me, you know, how brutal war can be. Um, uh, I'll give you a specific. Um, uh, there was a car bomb that went off near my base in Balad, Iraq. Um, seven to ten, I can't remember the exact number of Iraqi civilians were hurt. Um, so I went to help, like everybody else did. Uh, they brought in this little girl. Uh, she... Uh, was the same age as my oldest daughter and uh she is uh it's been two years and i can't even talk about it um she was really badly hurt and uh that has stuck with me ever since i've had nightmares about this um depression but i didn't want to seem weak me and my friends here are here to support jeff and and all those others that are out there hurting Operation Recovery has been focusing on a few main uh, posts where we have organizers already um, ready to reach out to the troops and where we know that troops are really affected by this issue and um, Fort Hood is one of those places. One of the hood is at 17 College Street, Colleen, Texas. We give out information to GIs on their rights uh, and help them through uh, their grievances with the military. My name is Kyle Wazalowski, I'm a conscientious objector. and. Uh, the manager of Under the Hood Cafe. I am a Fort Hood soldier. Um, I understand the uh, ins and outs of Fort Hood. I'm freshly out of the military and uh, I think that's a, a good um, quality to have for uh, new GIs that are, that are going to be coming through the doors. And it's a place where, where everybody around the community can get together and speak their mind freely. Uh, I am a uh, here to team up with uh, Iraq Veterans Against the War, also a member, and uh, the Operation Recovery Team. We know that Fort Hood is being affected by trauma every day. We've seen suicides here, we've seen um, soldiers turning their weapons on other soldiers, and uh, we're here to stop it. My name is Scott Kimball. I am an Army veteran. I served in Iraq from 2005 to 2006. I'm a member of Iraq Veterans Against the War. I'm currently an organizer with the Operation Recovery Campaign. A few weeks ago, we sent a letter to General Campbell requesting a meeting to talk about uh, the issue of deploying traumatized troops. Honestly, you can't see the general unannounced. One, two, he is not here. Um, there's nothing I can really do for you other than I can take the package. We again got the runaround. They sent down an E5 from his office to come in, try and 
uh, ease us away and, and say that maybe we can make an appointment. Uh, they obviously don't respect what we're doing here. They're not taking us seriously. We've sent a letter to General Campbell almost a month ago and we've had 600 supporters and members send emails urging him to meet with Operation Recovery. Since General Campbell has thus far uh, failed to meet with us, we're erecting a guard tower to let the Fort Hood community know that we're putting General Campbell on watch for the egregious practice of deploying traumatized military members. We're here uh, to put General Campbell on watch. Uh, we've been uh, trying to meet with him for the last uh, over, a little over a month now. Uh, we sent him 600 emails. We sent him a certified uh, letter. And we've also gone to Third Corps to meet with him and present him with another letter. And he has failed to meet with us as veterans. We are on watch. Traumatized soldier. Campbell Campbell has failed to meet with us. So, Civilian Soldier Alliance, Iraq Veterans Against the War, have begun to do outreach to active duty soldiers. We do outreach every day to active duty soldiers. We we get up and we pile in the car together and we go out to where active duty soldiers are and we talk to them and we ask questions more than we, uh, you know, give answers. My name is Lori Herlebaus, a member of Civilian Soldier Alliance. I'm from Oakland, California, but I came down to Killeen for the summer to uh, do active duty outreach. Trying to build community around, around where we live, but we, uh, we try to connect with the local downtown area in different ways. Politicians die and people turn their backs. You're gonna find him there. The torture of the training, the product of the gun. He's been the grease in the machine. By the time he's 21, he'll be a veteran for life. 